Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at these HD video camera. It says sunglasses, but I think they're just glasses. So these were provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So it says HD video camera sunglasses here. Nothing else in the box. Looks like we have a case. We have instructions. And looks like a charging cord. So this is micro USB charging. Let's open the case. Here we have the glasses. And we have a cleaning cloth. So it does look like there's a little bit of some sort of coating on here. That's kind of a green tint to it. So it looks like these are kind of a mild sunglass maybe. So let's look at the instructions. So it says USB charge. So there's a USB port here for charging. Next it says SD card slot. So we want to fold this over and then here's the SD card. A little tricky to get out of here. There we go. So I haven't heard of this brand. It says BandQ High Endurance 32 gigabyte card. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of pressing in on this to flex it to get that in there. Okay, I think that's in all the way. The two buttons here. So you can kind of see the button here. It looks like the front is the function button and the back is the on off button. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the blue light. So I think we turned it on. Okay, so I think I've since turned it off. So I'm gonna get this charging a little bit. Okay, this has instructions on using the camera here. So you can pause this if you need to read through all that, but I'll demonstrate that. And it looks like you can plug this into your computer. It will show up just like any other digital camera would. Here are the specs. The size is 9.5 by 5.5 by 1.5 inches. The weight is 35 grams. The resolution is 1920 by 1080p. It's 30 FPS. Video format is AVI. Picture format is JPEG. Audio decoding is stereo. Storage support is max 32 gig, USB 2.0. Battery type is high capacity lithium polymer, 230 milliamp hour, 0.85 watt hours. It says supports Windows 2000, XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. Looks like there's some warnings here. It says please strictly abide relevant regulations and laws. The product should not be used for any illegal purposes. So this is an illegal video and I'm not giving legal advice, but you do want to research that. So these can be used for lots of different purposes. Like say you are selling something to someone and you want to capture it. You could maybe use these, but you could also say use these on a bike ride if you want to just capture your ride. So let's turn this on. So I'll press this button here. So the blue light is on. Let me try taking a picture. I think I just pressed this button here. Okay, that looks like it took a picture. I'll take a picture of my desk. So you'd want to practice taking pictures to see what it looks like before you actually go out and use these for something. So I think if I hold this down now for three seconds, now we're in video recording mode. You can see that light's flashing. So this is a sample video. I'll insert this into the video itself. So I don't actually know what this is capturing. So this is a sample video. I'll insert this into the video itself. So I don't actually know what this is capturing. Now these are obviously not ideal conditions because I actually have a ring light here and I'm on the opposite side of it. So it may be washed out. But I'll get some other samples in here too. I hit this again to stop the recording and then I'll hold down the other button to turn it off. Okay, so now I'll connect this up to my computer so we can take a look at it. So I'll plug in the USB. So this didn't say it supports Mac, but I'm guessing it does, so I'll plug it into my Mac. Okay, so it showed up on my desktop as untitled. I'll open that up. So I did find that SD card was a little tricky to get in and out of there. I mean, it's not impossible, but it seems pretty easy just to plug this in and use it. So let's take a look at these pictures here. Take a look at the video. Let's see what we need to open this. Okay, so on my Mac, QuickTime's not opening this. I'll open it with VLC. VLC should be able to open it. Seconds. Now we're in video recording mode. Okay, so that worked fairly well. I have to say I'm very impressed with the audio. I was not expecting that audio to be so good. A lot of people don't talk about audio when they talk about video recording, but audio is very important. So I haven't put these on my face yet. I guess I should do that. Okay, here they are on my face. So there's some glare here. They're kind of bulky on the sides. They're a little thicker. There's a little dot there, but these would pass kind of as regular glasses, I would say. Now, I do wear regular glasses normally. So if I was wearing these, I would probably put my contacts in if I needed to actually see far with these. So, you know, these are not corrective lenses obviously. So I'm going to go film a couple clips with these and I'll insert the video so you can see samples of this. I'm just going to watch your eye a little bit.
So those are the HD camera glasses. You could use them like say bike riding or say you're going on a hike or something and you want to just capture what you're doing. This is a great point of view. I don't know if there's a better point of view position than right between your eyes. So if you want a point of view camera, this can give you that. But they're also a little bit covert looking so you don't have to say carry around a big action camera on a stick or something. They are right on your face, right front and center. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.